Hello, it's me, Nancy, today. Well, let me just give you a little update here on what's been going on. We had the memorial for my mom on the 30th of January. It worked out very well. I had quite a few songs selected, and there were several people who spoke, and in between their speaking, we would sing a song. And this, the music for all the songs was handed out to everybody. And the, we had a little trouble getting a piano player, but we did get one in the end. And he rose to the challenge. So we sang Brightest and Best. I've never sung that, but that's my mother's favorite. And then everybody said the 23rd Psalm. And then her boss from the university spoke, one of her bosses, you know, she was the executive secretary to the head of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. So the whoever was the head of the department, I think she was there for three or four heads. So one of them spoke, and then we sang In the Garden. I go to the garden alone. Andy walks with me. And she was asked once, what's God's name? Does God have a name? And she says, yes, it's Andy. Andy walks with me, Andy talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And then the, um, the wife of the head of the department spoke about how mom, when she would bring her children, when he would bring his children there, mom had a drawer, the bottom drawer in her desk was devoted to children's art supplies and books. And she would get a table out and have them sit down at the table and then she would have them do stuff like that while they were there. And then Mom's caregiver, Faye, spoke. It was very good. She told about the plan of salvation and about life and death. And then she talked about, she gave us some anecdotes of Mom's, her time with Mom. And then we sang How Great Thou Art. And then Becky, who, who grew up across the road from us, spoke. She came up from Florida to speak, to be there. Not necessarily to speak. She told about how mom, she once had an article to write, for, a paper to write for school. And so she knew mom had books. So she went over there by herself. And when she got there and she told mom that she wondered if she could borrow, a, a, use a book or, um, you know, she had a paper to write. And mom's eyes just lit up at the opportunity to, to teach her. And Becky really didn't know what to do. And so she taught her how to write an outline and how to write the paper. And she pretty well helped her with writing the whole paper and she taught Becky how to At do it Take third exit to highway five. and then um, I sang a solo I did each life that touches ours for good and then my sister talked she talked about all the animals and how when we would play at Memorial Park how she and her, her neighbor um, they would they would they would care for the horses and there were always little mice that were in the feed feed pile and so they brought some home and Mom never flinched, you know. She helped them get Take the. Eventually, Holland there were lots of lots of little um, I've got a turn here. I'm sorry. Eventually, there were lots of little exit right to highway five. Um, aquariums with mice in them. Isn't that nice? And then um, we sang the Old Rugged Cross, and then I spoke. I related some things that I had read in Mom's Story of a Lifetime, where she said that she, her mother, that the good things that her mother had taught her, how to be, you know, to be patient and never say anything unkind, and just lots of good stuff. And then we opened it up to let anyone who wanted to speak, speak. And so my neighbor, the one, the same one with Cynthia, who worked at the park and took care of the animals. She said that she and Cynthia were good friends and they would play together and I was the pesky little sister as at that age little sisters are and so I was on crutches and so they ran around the house to get away from me and I couldn't keep up and so when I would finally start to catch up they would run further around the house and they kept doing that and then my mother came out of the door out of the house like a mother hen and just ripped a strip off of them. She was so angry at them for treating